persons aren't here to jump and worship God, excuse us. Let me say to those who can't stand, excuse us if you see we get a little bit crazier. Who was here on Tuesday night would have seen that we, Thursday night would have seen that we kind of like something touch your head. And not to mem mention last night. And if last night was the way it was, and I'm going to be sorry for you. If you see we're getting a bit too crazy and we look like we're going to mash you and mash up your pretty frock and your nice hat. Just excuse me. Just go one side and just let me go. Let us go. Let us worship God. God deserves the praise. Uh, you may be seated for a short while. I, when I hold the mic, even before I hold the mic and come in church, I get excited. So you have to sit with me. So I'll try to put a little bit of my zip on my mouth tonight. But God is doing so much wonders in this place. I, let me give my testimony quick. <laughs> I am traveling with the apostle for a couple of years with now. And Bishop So. In Pastor Gail, I've experienced a lot when it comes on to the miracle. And um, I'm happy for the, the brethren who only want to hear the word. I'm happy. I, I, I need to know more about God. I need to hear the word, Doc. I need the word to apply to my life. And what the word, getting the word is great. But when I can see wonders while getting the word, it's like I'm in another level. Because guess what happened? Hearing the word and not seeing the manifestation of the word is a problem for me. So excuse me if I get too crazy in the house of God. And uh, I, I don't have to tell a um, Jamaica testimony because guess what happened? Since Thursday night is the winning, Evangelist Brian. Tuesday night, don't have to see with me. I, uh, Tuesday, wait, Thursday. Thursday night. Um, God has been doing wonders here. And last night I heard a gentleman who had problem with his spine. Said he sat in the apostle's chair and from his seat in the apostle's chair he felt a heat from his foot button straight to his head top. And after that he spoke in tongues when the Holy Ghost came. And after that we bury him in Jesus Christ. If you see me get crazy, I'm going to have to see where it comes from. I'm not only from the ministry, I'm from his loins. So if I get a little crazy. There's a song we need to make that we sing. I just sketch it the other night. I'm not going to sing it before because some people, you know, brother, only things that God is only on a Monday. Or Sunday when they come in church, beat the shama shama. And for that, when Monday comes, it's the same God return. When Tuesday come past the band, well, it's the same God. I let a thing chuck you in person. And you think that God not around you. But it's the same God. On the third the Friday and Saturday. If you don't know this, I don't want to teach the tonight. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he's God.
Um, I'm not telling you not to go on a vacation, you know. No, I'm not telling you that. I go on a cruise once you can't find it also. But when it comes to the house of God, and the work of God, make sure you put the little package that once you can help the man of God hold up his hand, put him on one rock, man, the word says, and stay beside him and do so. And I can guarantee you, must get the victory. Tell somebody in the house, know yourself, once you're on the right track, you must get your victory. Amen. Much on the minister's time. Six minutes that out on the minister's time. I'm going to be asking at this time, Ella Murray. He's here with us Thursday night, and I think last our last night. I'm going to be asking him to just give us a word of testimony at this time. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus. One verse of a song. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fool! to God for this privilege to be in the house of God to rejoice, amen, and to lift up his name and to glorify his name. I believe tonight is a night of thanksgiving and celebrate to lift up the name of Jesus. And just one thought as the apostle declared, if this same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead be in you, it shall quicken your mortal body. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise God. I just want to ask um, Elder Madan to leave a word of testimony with us at this time. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Can we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. We are so glad to be here tonight. We want to greet Pastor Johnson and to the, all the other Johnsons. One of my good friends is. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we met so many times in, in America, and we are so glad to see you. I've never met you yet before. God bless you. But <laughs> uh, well, we want to thank the Lord for His goodness. Earlier this week, I said to my wife, um, "I'm going to Pastor Barnesville tonight," and I said, "You know, in my heart, I want to be here. Just impel on my spirit to be here because I believe that God is getting His people together." For the final, amen, showdown on earth. Yes. For God has never lost a battle. Yes. He has never and will never lose a battle. He's always the, on the winning side. Always. The psalmist said, I'm on the winning side with Jesus. Yes. Though heart may be afraid, my soul can boldly say, I'm on the winning side. God bless you in the name of the Lord. Yes. Come on, if you hang them, praise the Lord. Sir, I'm gonna ask. Oh God, I don't want trouble the service because I don't want to kick off the man of God too quickly. <laughs> Brethren in the house, if a man hold a knife for your throat winning, you're not know gonna say, Help! <laughs> right. Evangelist Brian, Sister Ford. When you shout hallelujah on the phone to your boss 
and the boss here, the hallelujah, she had to respond to the hallelujah. I need some persons who know how to say hallelujah, evangelist Watson, to stand up in the house and shout 